Hello everybody. This is Dr. Hussain in electrical and electron circuit analysis. We are in module number three, which is about diode and transistor circuit analysis. Uh, in week seven, we are going to discuss the basics of semiconductor concept and B and junction, which is related to the course learning outcome, determine and identify, identify operation principles of semiconductor devices. It's, uh, uh, silicon we will come up with um, a property close to the conduction which is the co we don't talk about conductor uh, and give a specific function as I will explain through our discussion for the transistor and other uh, semiconductor devices this is the basic of electronic branch and electronic circuits which is used for many applications where we control the energy in computer, in radio, in television, navigation system, light dimer, calculator, appliances, and many other applications. Now, the impurities that we, we put, either we put some atoms which have five electrons in the outer band or three electrons in the outer band. If it is a three, then what will happen? We have emit space it's supposed to be two electrons connection but we have emit space now this emit space we call it as hole okay hole we call it hole now this hole it represent positive charge in front of negative charge for electron okay or uh, this means that you see here one electron Two electron. This is internal. This is IN, uh, another material, not silicon, and this is the third electron. But here we we miss electron. This is hole. Okay, because we have positive charge, we call this P-type layer. P-type extrinsic material. P-type layer. P for positive. And if we have five electrons. So we have one here, two here, three here, four here, but we have three electron rotating on the network. So we call it n-type. N-type, it means negative type layer. So from the semiconductor, okay, we, we make impurities. It either produces three electrons or three hole. Three electrons, we call it n-type. Three hole, we call it p-type. Now, if we put them together like a sandwich, this is p-type, as you can see, and this is n-type, what will happen between them, the point of touch or connection, okay, some of the negative charge from the n-type will cross the border, okay, and some of the positive charge will cross the border to the other side which create like a valve we call it depletion region like a valve it, it will not continue for a long time directly just we put them together it happened drift and diffuse currents were charger charge crossing the, the the border between the two layers until it reach equilibrium now if we come to untype okay layer the majority of carriers are negative, but there is minority carriers which represent positive charge coming when it is crossed the, the junction. This is the junction. And the same thing, in P-type, the positive charge is the majority carriers, while negative charge is crossing from the N-type, nearby N-type layer, and it's, it's become a minority carriers. This is PN junction. PN junction is the main part in electronic semiconductor devices. It represents diode. We add another layer to come up with a transistor. We add another layer to come up with thyristor and so on. Okay. This is PN junction. This is the junction here. Okay. This is the depletion region. You see here the, the carriers, the minor carriers crossing the junction. And definitely we have terminal device to terminal so this is the p and junction call we call this device p and junction or 
we call it diode diode simple is represented here as you can see it's like triangle with line here and line here the anode is on here on this part which is the positive part and the cathode is sometimes they call it K or C okay is the negative part current follow in one direction for diode it cannot follow in the other direction which is the property the important issue the feature now if I sketch the IV characteristics the relationship between current of the diode and voltage of the diode <clears throat> it's it's become in quadrant one and a quadrant three nothing here nothing here in a quadrant one which is called the forward bias the current go high with a small voltage drop it's conduct the current but a small voltage drop apply there but in the quadrant three which is called reverse bias region the current is very small you see very small in in micro and nano sometime okay but the voltage increase with increasing voltage current is still very small we call leak leakage current saturation current okay until it reach a point here where a breakdown will occur what is what does it mean it means that we lose the 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 diode it's get faulted because now it cannot block because the function of the diode is to conduct in the forward bias and the current and to block the voltage in the reverse bias okay now um, it's like a valve you see here like water coming from this direction and this is the valve so it allow the current the water as example to follow on this side when it try to reverse its direction the valve will close so the diode will allow the current electrical current to flow in the direction if we back to history the the idea executed more than 100 years back using what we call it trimonic diode where it is valve it's not available you cannot find it in the market right now it's sometime in museum it's history or they use what we, they call it cut whisker whisker similar to this one this is talking about tens years back 10 decades i mean maybe uh, 80 90 years back okay now when we connect the diode into the supply we either connect the positive to n to negative or the negative of the supply to p this connection called reverse bias where the current cannot follow now why i will explain to you but when we connect the positive to the positive and negative to the negative we have the forward bias where the current will follow why in reverse bias it cannot follow in forward bias it can follow now in reverse bias and reverse bias the positive here will attract electrons from here in this direction and the same thing the positive here to the negative direction this will wider widening the the uh, depletion region it become wider and this means that it's difficult for the current to follow but here the opposite this will push positive charge inside and negative side inside so the depletion region will be small it's easy for the current to follow through the depletion region now three scientists uh, talking about 1954 maybe this in this time at that time uh, Shockley, Berdin, Aberdeen they worked together and they invented transistor would change the humankind life and most of the technology coming ca because of the transistor at that time they owned by the way Nobel Prize at that time and uh, the oldest um, uh, let me say one and the supervisor for them was Shockley and there is there are many stories regarding Shockley Aberdeen and their relationship and how they separate how where Shockley worked and started a new job and a new opportunity and the same thing for Berdina and Aberdeen there is you can read about them in the uh, Google them you, you find many information regarding these three scientists but Shockley uh, invented let me say this equation which become very famous equation called Shockley equation choose for diode for transistor for other semiconductor devices even for solar cell 
okay for solar cell now have a look id is the diode current it is equal to is saturation current by exponential this is the power minus one minus down i mean okay now voltage across the diode times n impurity coefficients this one either one or two times vt which is thermal voltage uh, to be calculated using this formula kt over q k is uh, emission uh, sorry k it's boltzmann constant t is the temperature of the diode of the junction and q is charge of electron which is the 1.38 10 to power minus 1 to 1.6 to power minus 19. now let's apply shockley equation in this example at a temperature 300 Gilvin. by the way sometimes they 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 we can we can reverse the equation rather than id in term of vd we can make it vd in term of id okay this is just merit of math let's come to the example at temperature 300 kelvin a certain junction diode has id equal 0.1 milliampere vd is given assume n is unity vt is given find the value of saturation current he wants this one he gave you everything you just need to substitute in the formula is equal id over the exponential minus one you substitute you go through a calculation you find the value you see this is the saturation current see the the the, the it's multiplied by 10 to power minus 15 which means very very small current and this is the issue is in the reverse bias it block the current it's almost nothing zero no current will follow the voltage will be blocking now another example consider a diode under forward bias so that the approximation or approximate form uh, of circle equation applies assume that vt is given and is given by what increment must vd increase to double the current b to increase the current by factor 10 so b is just reflection but let me come to uh, a now this is shortly equation sometimes we ignore the one you remember in the equation there is minus one we sometimes ignore it because it's small we compare to the exponential so if this is the form okay i have the current and i have the current after i double the voltage okay he wants me to see how much uh, this value okay i mean how much sorry how, when i double the current how much the voltage so i will call them id1 with respect to vd1 and id2 with respect to vd2 okay now solve the formula and simplify you see this is i use the form exponential so vd1 minus vd2 over n vt and uh, this I will represent it as delta V by VD okay simplify I got this formula now these two currents get doubled as you can see here two and VT and I have them so let me do the calculation I got the voltage is 18.02 millivolt it mean when I double the current this is the voltage what if it is 10 times rather than I substitute ID1 over ID2 by 2, I will substitute them by 10. This is the voltage. Increase sharply. But it's still in millivolt. Now when we connect the diode in the circuit, this is the diode connected in the circuit. And this is VSS which is the source and current will follow because positive connected to anode. Negative connected to cathode. So current will follow through the resistance here okay and if i use kirchhoff voltage law i will say the total voltage of the supply equal the drop across the diode resistance by voltage drop across the diode it means i r this is r multiplied by i which is id and this is a voltage drop across the diode which is very small i'm talking about 0 0.6 0 0.7 volt now how we analyze the circuit to find current and voltages have a look i will use this formula in what we call it load line analysis it's a method 
to find the operating point, the point where the, the circuit will work, the diode will work. Now first, I will find the two points which specify. This curve, this curve represents the forward bias of the diode, the quadrant number one, right? The relation between ID and VD. Now, when we assume the current is zero here, current here is zero, then VSS will equal to VD. I find a point. Then I will assume VSS is zero to find ID. ID will be minus VD, or let me say, uh, sorry, VD is zero. ID will equal to VSS over R. This is another point. I specify them. I assume VD equals zero then to find ID. 